The Smart Selection Brush Tool is a very powerful tool in design which allows you to paint selection areas. From that selection area you can add documents to it, place images and also fill with colour etc. So in this example we have uh, an empty billboard and I want to fill this billboard with an image or a document. So first of all let's go to Pixel Persona and we'll choose the tool itself, so the Selection Brush Tool. Now from here you'll see you've got this cursor and this circle that you see uh, defines a brush width. So we can change that. You can use uh, a left square angle bracket key to make smaller and a right angle bracket key to make bigger. Now I'll make the selection area roughly about that. And it's the same value as the width here. So I can just drag across the page and you see that it snaps intelligently to the edges between the blue and the white. Now you don't worry about the bit in the bottom left, bottom right hand corner. We can fix that using this option up here, which is subtract. Effectively, I'm taking away the selection. So I can just paint along here instead of adding to it. I'll just tweak that a little bit there. There we are, that looks fine to me. So now I have a selection I can paste within that selection and the rest of the document remains unchanged. So I'll go up to File, I'll do Place, and I'll choose in this instance this AF Design file, and click Open. From the Place cursor, I can drag out my document and I can reposition it so it sits roughly within that selection area. I think that's probably about fine. Yeah, that's fine. And I can now apply a mask to that. So I can do that by going to the Layers panel and then choosing the button here, which is Mask Layer. And you'll see that the uh, added and placed uh, document is um, kept within the selection area. Okay, all that's left to do now is to just get rid of that selection area, the outline. Um, so I can do that using the command D uh, shortcut or the control D shortcut. So that's command D for, for Mac and Control-D for Windows. So Command-D on Mac, and there we have it.